Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. A few days ago, the WBC appointed Dillian White as a mandatory challenger for heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Bob Aaron, Fury's top promoter, believed that his word should abound at the idea of a fight with WBA. WBO and IVF champion Alexander Usyk had shared the ring with a mandatory challenger and then combined the titles with the Ukrainian. American Dante Wilde Wilder kept his first interview after losing his third bout with WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury. Then they spoke about his well-being after the knockout in this fight, and also shared plans for the future. John Fury, the father of WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, commented on the information that Anthony Joshua is ready to take 40 million pounds for refusing an immediate rematch with the owner of the WBA, WBO and IBF titles Alexander Usyk. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury has said he doesn't care who he enters the ring with in the next fight. Early, the WBC appointed Fury a fight with mandatory challenger Dylan White, but the British promoters also talked about his possible fight with WBA. WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk, if Anthony Joshua takes compensation and refuses a rematch with the Ukrainian. Former interim WBA World Heavyweight Champion Luis Ortiz complained that the top fighters of his division are avoiding a fight with him. According to Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk and Andy Ruiz are afraid to enter the ring with him. Recall that on January 1st, Luis Ortiz will fight against former world champion Charles Martin, the last time the 42-year-old boxer fought with in November 2020, when he knocked out Alexander Flores in the first round. As we previously reported, the WBC has appointed Gillian White as a mandatory challenger for heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Frank Warren, Fury's supermoter, commented on this situation saying that his world still wants to unite the titles in a fight with WBA, WBO and IBF world champion Alexander Usyk. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. A few days ago, the WBC appointed Dylan White as a mandatory challenger for heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Bob Aaron, Fury's sub-promoter, believed that his word should abound at the idea of a fight with the WBA. WBO and IBF champion Alexander Usyk and shared a ring with a mandatory challenger and then combined the titles with the Ukrainian. Of course, everyone on our side wants Tyson to fight with Usyk. But Usyk must fulfill his obligations to Anthony Joshua, since every match is prescribed in their contract. In addition, Fury now has Dylan White, who is a mandatory contender. This makes it very difficult to organize a fight between Fury and Usyk. So we expect Usyk to fight Joshua and Fury to fight White. I hope Usyk, this wonderful young man and a great fighter, wins his fight and Tyson Fury wins his. After that, Usyk and Fury will unite the titles in September, Bob Arum said. American Tante Wilder gave his first interview after losing his third bout with WBC World Heavyweight Champion British Tyson Fury. Dante spoke about his well-being after the knockout in this fight and also shared plans for the future. I feel great, I am doing great. We could not beat Fury, but we still got something in this fight. We gave a big fight. I am grateful for it and happy. I have no complaints against anyone. We are just moving on. When we humans find ourselves at a dead end and feel failure, 
We think that this is in the end for us. But we have to fight and move on. So for me, this is just the beginning and the best is yet to come. I still love boxing, I think I have already achieved a lot. Definitely more than you could imagine at the beginning of your career. I still have goals in this sport that I want to achieve. I broke my arm in the last fight, so I am still in the recovery stage. As soon as I get better, I will immediately start training. After that, we will consider options for returning, Wilder said. Recall that Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder had their third fight on October 9th in the team of Wilder in Las Vegas. The British won by technical knockout in the 11th round. John Fury, the father of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, commented on the information that Anthony Joshua is ready to take 40 million pounds for refusing an immediate rematch with the owner of the WBA, WBO and IBF titles Alexander Usyk. This is a business. I believe Joshua wants to fight with Usyk, that's why he asked for 14 million pounds. I don't blame him because I would have demanded 70 million. Joshua wants to take revenge for the defeat, he can't come back, which he has already proved. If there is such a big fool who will spend such a sum, then let him pay them. I definitely think that Joshua wants to fight with Usyk. But if he gets a good offer, he can accept it and then fight with the winner. However, I think the money is not the main thing for Joshua, it's a matter of pride. I don't blame him, John Fury said. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury has said he doesn't care who he enters the ring with in the next fight. Early WBC appointed Fury a fight with mandatory challenger Dylan White, but the British promoters also talked about his possible fight with WBA. WBO and IBF title holder Alexander Usyk. If Anthony Joshua takes compensation and refuses a rematch with the Ukrainian, I'm not focused on anyone. I told you about it just two seconds ago. I'm not interested in what they do. They are all packs of sex. They can fight among themselves. Let them do whatever they want. I'm not interested in that. The promoters will take care of the organization of the fights. And I'll just take my check and knock out some asshole. As always. I don't care who will be next. Why Rusik, Joshua, Wilder. The outcome will be the same for me. I have only one result in my mind. Tyson Fury said in an interview. Former interim WBA World Heavyweight Champion Luis Ortiz complained that the top fighters of his division are avoiding a fight with him. According to Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk and Andy Ruiz are afraid to enter the ring with him. Do you know why Fury, Joshua, Usyk and Ruiz don't mention my name? Because they avoid me. I don't know why, but they ignore me. Maybe these guys are overreacting. I don't know, but I'll be ready when they call me my name," Louis Ortiz said in an interview. As we previously reported, the WBC has appointed Dylan White as a mandatory challenger for heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Frank Warren, Fury's promoter, commented on this situation saying that his word still wants to unite the titles in a fight with WBA, WBO and IBF world champion Alexander Usyk. The WBC has not set a specific date. At the moment, they just asked us to start negotiations. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're all working hard on the fight against Usyk and on Joshua stepping aside. A fight with Gillian White is the worst case scenario. If Tyson does have to meet with Dillian, then most likely it will happen in March. Fury wants to fight Usyk for obvious reasons. The ultimate heavyweight championship and more money are at stake. Tyson wants to have a duel with Usyk, but if you need to meet Dillian White, then he will do it. Fury will be ready, Frank Warren said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.